So we're here with Ish Sodi in his first season for the Sky City Northern Knights. Ish, how's the season going? Um, well, just uh, had two wins in a row, so I uh, obviously crept up the table a, little, a wee bit after um, being at the bottom for a while. And uh, so, looking forward to the back end of the season, we've still got a few four days to go um, and where we can really uh, maximise our points and, and be able to really put a step forward in this competition. What have been the personal highlights for you so far? Um, the personal highlight for me was probably, um, probably, well we've had two wins and I uh, contributed to one of them but uh, I, th I think the sweetest victory was uh, playing against Auckland at Seddon Park and uh, beating them in three days because uh, obviously my old, um, old province and uh, so it was quite special in, in that regard, so um, yeah. And you took a Pfeiffer in the previous match in Wellington, that must have been thrilling though. Yeah, well, um, something I've always wanted to do and um, is to get Pfeiffers in, in first class career and to do it, I uh, almost uh, proved to myself that I could do it at that level. Uh, it's just about consistently performing now and uh, you know not getting, not getting too far ahead of myself. What um, What's the difference at this level compared to the cricket you've played in the past? What have you had to find within yourself to compete? Um, I think, all in all, it's just, um, it's cliche, but the basics will get you further further in this, um, at this level, because um, I just find the higher cricket I've played, the simpler things have become and, and uh, simpler things have prevailed, so yeah, I think that's that's the main the main learning from uh, stepping up a level from like club career and you know A level to, to first class career. Yeah. So uh, I'd say I'd say even uh, even further it'll get even simpler. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's your your own perception that that drives that. It's achieving that consistency, which is so much easier to say than to do. Oh, like like ever eh? like um, because it's a it's a it's a toil, you know. Like um, in the next month. We're, we're going to play 20 days of cricket. I've, I, like in a, in a club game, in a club season, I don't think I've played 20 days of cricket. So <laughs> so it's new, so it's a great challenge, but uh, yeah, looking forward to it, I'm insane. And how does the body hold up to it all? Do you find yourself you know, really feeling the physical effects of, of playing more cricket? Um, well, yeah, you'd be stupid to say you don't, but I think it's it's more the mental fatigue and um, you know your your range of emotions that goes on. Well, especially for me personally, because you know, I'm still young and, and that sort of thing. But um, I think just being able to do things for long periods of time is uh, what what really determines how tired you are physically as well as mentally. So yeah. Heading into this season, you represented New Zealand at the Under 19 World Cup and talking there about the emotions of cricket. Tell us what happened after the last game there. Oh well, after the last game we'd come come pretty close uh, to beating India in the, in the semi-final and uh, well, probably put in two years of, of hard work there um, to get to that stage and um, to, to get to the semi-final obviously in itself was, was a pretty pretty good achievement for us and um, Coming in, not expected to do, to do obviously so well, you know. And now uh, we played against India, and uh, in the end we lost by I think eight runs. And um, yeah, being out of the competition was a pretty sour feeling. And uh, during warm downs, just lying down and thinking, damn, it's over, and, and you know all that hard work's gone. You can't really, can't really get it back. And um, looked over to my captain, and I, I don't think I've ever felt so low um, in my playing career so far but you know you, you got to get over that because it's going to happen more more and more as you progress if you if you want to progress um, yeah but it's crazy eh? because you can go from being on top one day to feeling as low as you did on that last day and you were just lying on the ground completely spent and oh. it all it all came out <laughs> yeah that, that's when you can sit there and say I'm knackered you know yeah I'm knackered and I, I just you know, I want to go home because <laughs> you know if you Especially the worst is playing that third place playoff. Yes. You know? And um, you can tell by the result, I think we got bowled out by 80 for 80 against yeah. South Africa in that third place playoff. And it just shows, um, after having all that ticker the whole whole way through, uh, it's a shame to go out that way. But I think I think the boys the boys were really really hard, took it really hard. So. But you wouldn't be the first team to be in that situation and going into one of those sort of dead games. And it does tell you just how much. 
um, the heart and, and the mentality plays a role in getting you up for the game. And yeah, very much so because like um, we we lost India. Obviously, I spoke about it earlier only by eight runs. You know, if, if we lost by 120 runs, it wouldn't have felt as bad. Yeah. You know, um, coming so close to a World Cup final, representing your country is a pretty you know it's a pretty special yeah. thing. So especially um, playing against Australia would have been would have been incredible because. It's a buzz playing against Australia, you know? even at the under 19 level. I wonder what it's like at the highest level. Do you like cricket or do you love cricket? Um, see, that's a question I ask a lot of old guys as well. <laughs> um, and I think your love for cricket changes as you as you come to first class cricket. And I think um, you got to start loving the process of cricket. And the processes of cricket instead of um, just just a general statement isn't I love cricket it's, it's more about um, finding little things to like about the game because it's it's tougher than you can imagine you know? coming from club career and if, if you dominate you can love you can love the game because you're on top and stuff but you got you got to love the toil as well yeah so there's a lot more to that statement so I think I'll come back to you a little bit later in my career <laughs> and tell you if I love the game or like the game brain check yeah <laughs> What's your perfect delivery? If you could picture the, the best bowl you could possibly bowl, best ball you could possibly bowl, what would it be? Oh, you want to put your ball on just outside leg stump and hit the top of off, eh? Like the Mike Adding ball, the Shane Warne ball. I guess um, they call the ball this century for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Who would be facing? I don't know, eh? I think, um, yeah, I have never really thought of that, eh? If, if I wanted to say, well, you want to get someone out of the average 15 test crew, wouldn't you? But, you know, it just depends on the situation. Like, it depends on games. You just, you know, a crucial wicket could be a number nine batsman that's stuck around for a while, so I just want to bowl the ball to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> have you always been a leggy, right from the beginning? Oh, no, I used to, I used to bowl pace and, and batted. But um, yeah, no. I just one day decided to start bowling leg spin uh, when I went to an academy with Deepak Patel, and uh, just sort of went from there. But no, not, not always a leg. I only started when I was about twelve. Right? right. And was it a very difficult <coughs> thing to learn to do? Oh yeah. Um, I think because I loved doing it. And I loved doing it at that time. I think um, I did it very frequently. So. Um, yeah, but it's it's a it's a tough art because you can get carried away because there's so much to do. You can do a lot with it. You do too much and you yeah. lose the shape of the delivery. Exactly. Yeah, and you can lose you can do too much and sort of um, it can play against you as much as it can play, you know, for you. So it's about sort of um, just being able to control what you can control and um, move from there. Yeah. Do you give uh, any nuggets of advice to, to young spin bowlers? Um, well, it's pr uh, well, when I was in, in Auckland, uh, I came from a club called Papa Toy, and uh, there, were, there were a lot of young spinners there, and uh, you know, a lot of young league spinners. So, yeah, for some reason, we, we did have a lot of spinners here. You know, um, not too sure why, but so yeah, you always always um, like to give a hand. Like, I love talking about spin bowling, so. Um, yeah, but my mind is, is a bit different to someone else's, so it's a little bit hard to, you know, be able to coach people in that way. I, I sort of like to, I, I like to talk to people about how they do it, even, even young kids, you know, like you see different grips from like 15 year olds and you just think, wow, like, how can that, how can I learn from that and be able to use that in my own game? Like, I went to, played a game at Gisborne a while ago and there were a few, few leg spinners there with uh, Ben O'Brien Leaf. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, saw some different grips, hey, like some, some grips that I'd never even thought of. Like I've messed around with a lot of grips, but saw some that sort of thing, and I really enjoyed just seeing the way they go about it. And they're only kids as well, so. Yeah. It's and then you sort of get the ball and think, man, I can't do that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so like, I guess your, your body's programmed to do what it can, and, and you'll, you learn what you can't do soon yeah, exactly. enough. And yeah. um, it depends what you stick with. Because 
I spent a couple of years preparing for the, or a year and a half preparing for the under 19 World Cup. I'm hoping to do some study um, and seeing how that goes through. Um, hoping to even spend maybe a month or two overseas. You know, not, not too keen to spend too much of winter overseas, just so I can spend some time with my family and, and you know, so um, that, that becomes important as well, especially when you're on the road so much. Uh, finding that out my first season, imagine the guys that have played for like 10 or 15, so. <laughs>